Hi, welcome back to Python tutorial. In this video, we will understand how to write a Python program which has a function called is prime that returns 1 if the argument passed to it is prime number, otherwise, it returns 0. The meaning of this one is uh, the is prime number will accept one uh, argument. If the argument is uh, prime number, it returns 1, otherwise it returns 0 in this case. So we do one thing, uh, we will start writing the definition of this uh, function first, that is uh, is prime. So def is underscore prime, that is the name of the function here. It will accept one parameter, so I will name it as x in this case. Now what I suppose to do is, first I need to understand what is prime number. A uh, prime number is one uh, which is either divisible by one or itself. If it is divisible by any other number uh, except one and uh, itself, it is not a prime number. So what we do here is uh, every number is divisible by one. So we will leave that particular one here. We will start the value of i is equal to two. So we'll start from two and then we will go up to half of that particular number because uh, let us say that the value of x is equal to 10. Uh, if we, uh, we need to check whether this particular 10 is divisible from 2 to 5 here because uh, if we check uh, whether 10 is divisible by 6 of course it is not divisible 10 is not divisible by 7 not divisible by 8 and so on so only we need to go up to half of that particular number if it is 100 also we need to go up to 50 because 100 is not divisible by 51 to 99 so better to go up to half of that particular number so what we do here is we will write one while loop here where we write something like this i is less than or equivalent to x divided by 2 so it has to go up to half of that particular number so within this what we do is we will check on very simple condition that is if x mod we can say that 2 is equivalent to 0 what it says is whether the number is divisible by not to here it should be i number is divisible by i what is the value of i initially it is 2 so whether x is divisible by 2 if it is divisible by 2 it is not a prime number next we will increment the value of i if the value of uh, i will become 3 in this case x is divisible by 3 it will return 0 again it is not divisible and so on so what we do here is uh, we will return what we can say that 0 in this case because uh, the number x is divisible by 1 itself and any other number in the range of uh, 2 to x divided by 2 so hence it is not a divisible uh, it's not a prime number here now what we do here is uh, uh, we have to check for all the numbers starting from i to x divided by 2 so we will write uh, i is equal to i uh, plus 1 in this case so increment the value of uh, i here now once that particular loop is uh, finished uh, the meaning of this one is uh, uh, it, it has not returned the meaning of this is uh, uh, the number is a prime number because if it is a not prime number it would have returned already zero here if it is not divisible by any other number in the range of i to x divided by 2 definitely it will come out of this particular uh, loop here here we do one thing we return uh, one in this case now uh, we need to write the main part of this particular program uh, we will read one number uh, any number which is anything which is read from uh, we can say that uh, the input device with the help of input function uh, which is in the form of string so we need to convert it into int so that's the reason int of input we need to write and then we will give a message to the user like enter uh, a number he has to enter one number okay once he has entered that particular number it will be converted into integer and then it will be stored into num here now we will take one uh, flag variable and then we will call the prime here and then we will pass this number as a parameter to this particular function now number will go to this particular is prime and it will be copied into x it will check whether the number is uh, divisible by anything other than one and uh, itself if so it will return zero otherwise it will return one if it has written zero the meaning is uh, it is not a prime number if it has written one it is a prime number in that case so i will check one condition whether the flag is equivalent to 0 if it is 0 I have to print one message that is a print uh, you can say that num whatever the number is there num uh, is not a prime number okay else 
what I supposed to do? Else means what? Uh, the value returned is 1 in that case. So you can write num. You can say that is a prime number in this case. So this is a very simple program. Here what we did is we checked the condition that is whether flag is equal to 0 or 1. If it has written 0, the meaning is not a prime number. If it has written 1, the meaning is it is a prime number in this case. So what we do is uh, we will try to run and uh, see what is the output we will get. Uh, now it is asking you to enter a number here. Uh, I will do one thing. I will enter a 10 in this case. It says that 10 is not a prime number. Of course, 10 is not a prime number. We know that particular thing. Uh, I will do one thing. I will enter 11 here. Uh, it says that 11 is a prime number because 11 is divisible by itself and uh, uh, 1 over here. If I enter any other number, let us say that triple 1, it says that triple 1 is not a prime number in this case also. So what we did in this particular program is uh, we have asked user to enter one number. We converted that particular number into uh, integer and then stored into NUM. We have passed that particular number to is prime function. Is prime will check whether that particular number is prime or not. It, if it is not a prime, it will return 0. If it is prime, it will return 1 in that case. So we check that particular flag here. If the flag is equal to 0, we print that the number is not a prime number. If the flag is equal to 1, we print that it is a prime number in this case. I hope this particular program is uh, clear. If you have any other questions, you can put that particular question in the comment box. If you like the video, do like and share this video with all your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.